hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel the beautiful stitches i love you all and i'm glad you're here with me today we are going to be making a pinafore dress and here is my fabric i've placed it on fold and i'll be placing it i'll be folding it again for us to achieve our shoulder because we'll be using our shoulder measurements to draft out the pinafore at the upper part of our uh, dress okay so i'll be imputing my measurement on our fabric but before then i will make a fold again okay here is the second fold to cut both the back and the front panel together so we are using eight inches which is the shoulder measurement 16 divided by two okay so let's mark out our measurements here is my baseline okay Every measurement starts from the baseline. And let's be sure that this fabric is well folded. Okay, let me check. Okay, my fabric is in order. So we are going to be starting our measurement from the baseline. Okay, so I'll be imputing my half length. My half length is 6. I will not be using 16 for the measurement because my pinafore will be having a band at the waist. So I'll be using... 14 inches okay minus 16 okay so two inches for the band all right so let's cut it out so i can use it to measure out the upper part of our dress okay let me cut it out all right here is my upper part where i'll be making the pinafore so we'll be imputing our shoulder measurements my shoulder is eight and already we've folded our fabric into two at eight inches so i'll be marking out my neck width okay which is 5.5 inches all right and then my neck depth i'll be marking out four inches remember this neck measurement is both for the front and the back panel so four inches for my neck depth and 5.5 for my neck width and then i'll connect them together just the way i'm doing it watch carefully what i'm doing okay so we'll mark out our neck measurements. Then also, at the shoulder area, remember, we have 8 inches as the shoulder. And then I'll be marking half inch at that shoulder line because I don't want it to be protruded. So I'll be going in by half inch okay depending on what you want you can go in by half inch three quarter or one inch depending on the size of your shoulder what you want okay so i'm going in by half inch and then at the waistline i want it to come in a little so i'll be going in by one inch at the waistline also depends on what you want you can make it one and a half two inches all depends on your choice so i'll be going in by half inch sorry by one inch and then connect it down to the shoulder line just the way i'm doing it you can see okay you can see that our pinafore is coming out gradually and then at the shoulder line i'll impute my half inch seam allowance remember we'll be joining it together okay so let me cut it out all right this is our upper part of our dress as you can see both the front and the back panel is together so let's keep it aside and cut out the lower segment of our pinafore dress okay so i'm going to also place my fabric unfold i'll cut out the first piece and use it to cut out the second piece okay so my fabric is unfold remember we have 16 inches for our upper part so i'll be subtracting it from the full length of our dress so 16 minus 40 we have 40 as the full length 40 we have 24 and remember, we'll be joining it with the upper part. So I'll be adding half inch and then one inch for the folding at the hemline. We have 41.5, 41 and half inches. Okay, so let's mark it out into a straight 
line let's make sure we have a straight line also and a baseline where we can measure out the remaining part of our pinafore dress okay let's be sure of our measurement if we have the accurate measurements so i have 41.5 okay so what i'm going to do now is to measure out my vertical measurement on this fabric from my waist to my hip is eight inches and then i'll be adding half inch sewing allowance which i'll be adding at the waistline so i'm measuring at 8.5 okay that is for the hip measurement 8.5 and then at the waist i'll be putting my waist measurement my waist is 34 34 divided by 4 we have 8.5 inches and then i'll be adding one inch for that just the way i'm doing it watch carefully and then i'll add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance and seam allowance whatever okay and then at the hip at the hip line i'll be putting my hip measurement my hip is 40 40 divided by 4 we have 10 inches plus 1.5 inches for ease and for seam allowance just the way i'm marking it and then at the hemline i'll be inputting the same measurement i use for the hip because i want it to be straight and at the sides i'll be having a slit or a, an opening at the sides of my pinafore dress okay so whatever i have on my hip line is what i will impute on my hem line i have 11.5 i've imputed it there so i'll connect from my hip down to the hem line just the way i'm doing it you can see i'll connect the lines together and then curve out my hip area from my waist to my hip just the way i'm doing as you can see it's coming out gradually well okay so let's cut it out so this is the first piece for the front for the lower part let me secure it with my pin because i'll be using this to cut out the second piece for the front sorry for the lower part of our pinafore so what i'll do is to also place my fabric on fold again and then place this already cut fabric to cut out the second panel for the lower part just the way i'm doing it place it on it align it properly and then cut it out as you can see i'm making adjustment to make sure it's aligned together and then i'll cut it out just the way i'm doing okay as you can see this is my front and back panel for the lower part of our pinafore dress so i'll shift it aside now we are going to be cutting out the band for the for our pinafore dress so my band is going to be five inches okay i'll be cutting out five inches then after folding i'll be having 2.5 inches okay our band is two inches so i'll be marking out five inches after cutting we'll place it on fold while attaching it to our lower to our dress so i'm marking out five inches as you can see okay and then my waist is 40 sorry my waist is 34 divided by 4 we have 8.5 and then if you are marking it we are marking out 17 inches plus one inch for seam allowance to join it on the two sides okay so i'll be marking out 18.5 I'll add half inch extra just the way I'm doing it as you can see so I've cut out my band this is my band as you can see so I'll be separating it at the middle this is how I will fold it and then attach it by half inch to the lower part of my garment 
so let's keep this aside so this is the pinafore i'll be using it to cut out the lining okay that i'll use to turn it all right so let's keep it aside much later we'll visit it right now we are cutting the pocket that will be in front it's going to have a deep pocket in front so i want to cut out the deep pocket i've placed my fabric on fold i'm cutting out the both pockets at the same time so i have eight inches by ten inches this is eight inches And 10 inches let's be sure that it's, it does not cross where I'm supposed to mark so this is 10 inches I'm going to mark it out and cut out our pockets after cutting I'll separate the two pockets just watch carefully what I'm doing you can see so this is our pocket, as you can see, neatly cut. I'll be placing it in front of our garment. So this is my upper part, which is the pinafore, and I've used it to cut out the lining that I used to turn it, okay? So right now, what we are going to do is to place our fabric, main fabric to main fabric, and lining to lining. So I'll be joining it at the shoulder line, just the way I'm doing. Watch carefully. I'll be joining it at the shoulder line, right side facing right side. Okay. The same thing I've done for the main fabric, I'll also do for the lining. I'll also join it at the shoulder line using the half inch that was kept at the shoulder line. I'll join it together. So let me take it to my machine and show us what I'm doing okay here we go here is my pinafore i've joined fabric to fabric and lining to lining as you can see it's looking very very neat so we are going to place the fabric the right side facing each other lining and the fabric the right side of the lining facing the fabric and we'll sew around the neck okay as you can see, I've finished joining it at the neck. I've sewn it round. As you can see, the right side is facing each other. So what you're going to do next, right now, is going to turn this fabric. You're going to fold it inside. Making sure the wrong side faces each other. Just watch carefully what I'm doing. We'll turn it this way. Wrong side facing, wrong side. Before now, we did right side facing right side so now we are turning it the other way round wrong side facing wrong side just watch carefully what i'm doing as you can see it's neatly turned i will give it a good press i've given it a very good press as you can see okay so what i'm going to do now is to fold from one side to the other and then open it up making sure the right side faces each other right side facing each other i'll secure that point with the pin making sure the shoulders are aligned properly with each other and then i'll sew from one end to the other just the way i'm doing it now you can see i'll take it to my machine and sew it and then pull it out after sewing let's take it to our machine let me show us what i'm talking about Okay, here is my upper part. As you can see, I finished sewing it at the shoulder line. So I've removed the pin and then we are going to pull it out. Pull it out from one side. What we are doing is to seal the ends of the shoulder and the sides. Okay, just watch carefully. It's a little bit technical what I'm doing now. But it's very easy if you put down your eyes and watch carefully. So as you can see, that area is sealed up now. Remaining the other side of the upper part. So we are going to also fold the other side that has been sealed 
against the open side and then turn the fabric right side facing right side just watch carefully what i'm doing and then pin it together properly align the shoulder so that it can meet with each other okay and secure it with a pin just the way i'm doing it after securing it then sew it from one end to the other okay let me take it to the machine and show us what i'm doing yeah i'm back as you can see i finished joining it one end to the other so what i'll do now is to pull it out from one side just watch carefully i'm pulling it out gently pull it out from one side just the way i'm doing it as you can see let me open it and show us what it looks like wow you can see that the two sides are sealed properly sealed as you can see it is sealed from the two sides yeah very much sealed so what we are going to do next now is to give it a very good press we give it a very good press to stretch out the rumples on it okay let's continue with our tutorial all right i've given it a good press as you can see it's looking very neat and clean so what we're going to do now is to keep it aside and then work on the lower part of our pinafore dress here is the lower part So I'm going to align it properly. What we are going to do right now is to locate the dart point. We are going to place our dart on this lower part now. Okay. So let's measure out the dart placement. We are using our boss pan, which is 8 divided by 2. I have 4 inches. Okay. Just watch what I'm doing. At this point, we are marking out our dart. Then I'm going to give it a notch at that point. This notch is going to apply both to the front and the back panel. Just the way I'm doing it. As you can see, I've given it a notch. So what I'm going to do now is to impute my dart. So for the front panel, I'm going to measure down 4 inches. Okay. And then connect my dart 4 inches and connect it from the waistline. Just watch what I'm doing. If you have been following my tutorial, you should be familiar with all these things. Half inch on both sides. And then we'll connect it down to the 4 inches point. Just the way I am doing it now. This also applies to the back panel. We are going to impute our dart. But for the back panel, we are imputing 5 inches. Okay, then connect with a straight line upward and then at the waist to go in, take up half inch on both sides of the line you just drew and then connect our dart. Just the way I'm doing it. Okay, the same thing we've done for this side, we'll also do it on the other side of our fabric, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to take it to my machine and then sew up the dart and show us what I've just done. Okay. Yeah, here is my dart that I've imputed. As you can see, our pinafore dress is gradually taking shape. It's gradually coming out. I've imputed my dart for both the front and the back panel. Okay, as you can see, this is my dart well placed and neat. Okay, so the next thing we'll be doing now is to impute our pocket for the front panel. Okay, so I've removed the back panel. I'll place my pocket and then impute them at the front side of my dress. Just watch the placement where I'm going to be placing my pockets on the front of the 
of the lower part of our pinafore dress okay so i'll be making a fold at the open end of the pocket half inch and fold it twice and then sew round with half inch on the front panel so let me take it to my machine and show us what i want to do you can see so we use half inch and sew it around let me take it to my machine oh guys i'm so so sorry i don't know what happened to my camera i don't really know what happened i cannot explain but i'm so sorry all the way our pinafore have been made and it's looking very very neat and clean but let me briefly explain what i did on the band i used 2.5 inches and then i added an interface soft interface to make it firm okay and then I cut at the center, I made a notch at the center of the band and the lower part of our dress. And also, at the upper part, I also made a notch in order to connect it and make sure the pinafore sits at the center of the lower part of our dress, of our pinafore dress, okay? As you can see, I added my darts and... On the waistline i use half inch to join it to the upper part and then after joining it i use one inch to hold it on the sides on the two sides okay and then on one side i added a zipper of about six to five six to seven inches on one side of the pinafore dress okay so i added a zipper on one side so that it can pass through my client's head Okay, and then at the hem of our dress, I made an opening, an opening at the end. Okay, I told us earlier it will have an opening. And then I folded it with one inch seam allowance that was left behind. Okay, so this is what I did for my pinafore dress. Please guys, I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry for the, for my camera misbehaving. Okay, please, I'm very, very sorry. And this is the end of our tutorial. Thanks for watching till the end. You can see that our pinafore dress is looking very, very beautiful. You can give it a try. -er. And if this is your first time of watching my video, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos, okay? And also, don't forget to click the notification bell to always get notified anytime I upload my videos all right thank you guys for watching till the end i love you all from the depth of my heart i'm so sorry my my camera have to disappoint me this way but i'll surely make it up to you guys please give it a try and post it on our facebook group the beautiful stitches and always give it a try at home and remain blessed Bye bye